Former Real Housewives of Atlanta stars Kim and Croy Beerman have been locked in one of the messiest splits in reality TV history for years. Now, the former NFL star is firing back at the latest accusations his estranged wife has told the media. Croy Beerman blasts Kim Zolciak's latest claims. During a recent chat with TMZ, Kim claimed that Croy doesn't pay for anything in their household, saying he has only paid two electric bills in the last two years. She even claimed that her daughter Brielle had contributed more to the family's overall finances. The Don't Be Tardy singer also said that Croy had recently suggested that they reconcile. After the interview went viral, Croy took to Instagram to refute her allegations. I will never stop praying for her, but I will no longer stay silent, Croy shared on his Instagram story. I was isolated, imprisoned, and silenced for almost 13 years. What's been mentioned in motions is only the tip of the iceberg. He told IHOA fans they were witnessing narcissistic shaming abuse in the interview. Where do Kim Zolciak and Croy Beerman stand in their ongoing split? Kim and Croy first filed for divorce in May 2023. Two months later, they dropped the petition and reconciled, Peace between them did not last long. Croy filed for divorce again just two weeks later. Since then, they have publicly fought over their major financial issues and custody of their six children, which has included multiple visits from the police. Kim and Croy share kids KJ, 13, Cash, 12, and twins Kaya and Kane, both 10. Croy also adopted Zolciak's now-adult daughters from a previous relationship, Brielle and Ariana, in 2011. A major sticking point is their Georgia home, which came close to foreclosure last year. During her talk with TMZ, Kim admitted they had refused an offer of $2 million less than the house had been appraised for. Who would take a $3.5 million offer on a $5.5 million appraisal? Nobody, she told the outlet. In response, Croy's lawyers stated that a house is only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. If Kim is waiting to get $5.5 million for a house that is on the brink of foreclosure, she's going to be waiting a very long time, they said, before driving Kim even further. I find it ironic that this interview took place at Lax. Who's watching the kids? The answer is Croy. He's in Georgia working 40-plus hours a week, taking care of the kids, and trying to get the marital residence sold so that family can avoid foreclosure. Tell us, whose side are you on, Kim or Croy? Sound off in the comments below. Come back to TV shows Ace to stay up to date on all things Bravo.